ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ನಮೋ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಷ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದೇಸಿಗನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಸ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಪಲ್ಲಾಂಡೆ ಜಯತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಲೀಲಾ ರಾಸಲೀಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಣ್ಣನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನದರ್ ಗೋಪಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಜಲ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರೈಸೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದೇಸಿಕನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕವಿತಾರ್ ಕವಿ ಸಿಂಹಂ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಆಸ್ ಅ ರಿಲೀಜಿಯಸ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫರ್ ಹಿ ಆಸ್ ಸೋ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಎನ್ಶ್ರೈನ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೊಯಿಟಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಣ್ಣನ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಷ್ ನಂಬರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಲೀಟ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಮಧಿಕಾಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಗಾಢಾಂಗಪಾಳಿ ಪಶ್ಚಾತ್ ಈಶನ್ ಮಿಳಿತ ನಯನ ಪ್ರೇಯಸಿ ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಮಾಣ ವಸ್ತ್ರಯಂತ್ರ ಪ್ರಣಿಹಿತಕರೋ ಭಕ್ತ ಜೀವಾತುರ ವ್ಯಾತ್ ವಾರಿ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ನಿಬಿಡವಸನೋ ವಲ್ಲವಿ ವಲ್ಲಭೋ ನಃ ಹ್ಯ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಲೀಡ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಲೀಡ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಲೀಡ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ವೇರ್ ಒನ್ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ನೀ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಬೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ನೀ ಟಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ನೀ ಟಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೆಂಟ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ನೀ ರೈಟ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಅಟ್ ಆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಡ್ ದ ಆರೋ ಸೊ the the gopika is kind of squatting position with one knee touching the ground with the other knee bent but keeping the palm keeping the foot flat on the ground and the knee is at a 90 degree one can say so she is she has the 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 pichang kudal or the the tube water tube at through which you pump and uh, you suck the water from the from the reservoir or the river and you pump and it will go at a uh, it will propel at such a speed to the opponent's body so you can aim at someone and push the chi- the children play with that water sport so pratyalida sthitim adhigatam adhigatam means sitting sitting in that pratyalida sthiti in that position paschat prapta gadanga palim and she all gopikas and krishna are playing this water sport in in that in in that are uh, having that leela enjoying each other so when such is and everybody is having that is having the tube the toy and they play they just sprinkle water on the others so she is ready and she is aiming at another gopika and she is focused on that and that time krishna comes from behind and completely hugs her from behind paschat from the behind prapta he 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 attained her prapta gaadha anga phalim irigiya anaippai odayavan he he hugged her tightly from behind ishan milita nayana preyasim prekshamanah because of that unexpected pleasant surprise the gopika is overwhelmed she didn't even she she was not even expecting she was playing with everyone just like everyone else was playing with each other and 
that time krishna with some some soft corner for her some some uh, liking for her or play to play with her he came from behind and hugged tightly so that she doesn't move she could not move so when such is the when such a thing happened ishan milita nayanam preyasim prekshamana ishan little bit koncha milita closed half closed or 90% closed nayanam the eyes the eyes of preyasim prekshamana preyasim means priya she is a darling of krishna kanna and prekshamana he prekshamana means seeing so krishna sees her from at a 45 degree at her face and she has her eyes almost closed and she is overwhelmed at at that hug so pastra yantra pranayita kara and she not only hugs and immediately she catches hold of he catches hold of her hand where she holds the tube water tube why she, why he catches because she is she knows that it is kannan and she is first overwhelmed with pleasant surprise and immediately she recoups herself and she wants to turn that water tube to kannan's face and pump that so that the water is splashed on kannan's face so that she wins in that water game so she turns that and krishna from the hug he he holds her hand tight so that she cannot move her hands so pranihita karaha she avari krida nibida vasano vallavi vallabonaha and so he holds the hand on that water tube the one which she has and probably krishna himself he is having another water tube perhaps vari krida nibida vasano because of that jala kritai his his nibida his uh, clothes vasana nibida vasana means the vastram is stuck to his body it is wet cloth and hence it is stuck to his body and because of that his majestic handsomeness is more visible his body is more visible because of the water on his cloth vallavi vallabaha this gopi is prananathan gopi mars prananathan so he is the darling beloved of all gopikas bhakta jeevatu navyat this he is a bhakta jeeva he is the jeevan of all bhaktas kannan is the is the weir the soul of all devotees na avyat may he protect us such a wonderful verse look at the look at the imagine the situation gopala holds in his right palm in that last in that a stick in the last one in this he is playing with the gopika and it is talked about that gopala or krishna is so beautifully playing with all the gopikas with his dear gopikas and all of them are equally dear to him and he has been playing for quite some time and hence his dress is all wet because he pumps the water on her and she pumps on someone else and all of them are uh, are catching the other one um when unaware and they surprise each other by sprinkling splashing the water on each other so one gopi stands in a special arrow aiming posture with the left leg stationed in front with the arrow triggering not having a not having much puff force on the person so she aims that water tube stream aimed at gopika or even krishna but she is just searching for so krishna comes from behind and he hugs her fast and tight and she she is so pleasantly surprised and she closes the eye 
she doesn't probably close the eye she is trying to look at through the corner of her eye who is that and krishna also looks at her and both their eyes meet now gopala or krishna or kannan gazes or enjoys at his dearest gopi at such close quarters at the same time his fingers trying to catch the water pipe water tube of that gopi as so that he throws that water tube on the on the neighboring gopika and plays with her he is virtually the darling of all the gopikas he is virtually the life soul of the devotees thus he secures complete rakshanam for us he is the sustenance for us he is the soul for us and may that lord of gopis protect us swami desika says and he facilitates us he enables us to sustain our lives even under this samsara tapam samsara sagaram and we 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 are stuck in this with this all wonderful stories with this wonderful anecdotes and rasa leelas we are able to immersely enjoy the anubhavam of the gopikas and their love and their devotion and krishna's reciprocating that devotion love to them now it swami desi can also explain so beautifully in yadava abhidayam he is the ultimate pinnacle of saulabhyam and he he plays so wonderfully with gopastris and enjoys being with them and even some of them were even married to mary they had children but they too were happy being with him so does this not bring a bad name for kannan first of all we should never ever equate ourselves with kannan or kannan with ourselves he is he belongs to a different group he is he is uh, he is not one among us he is not a jeevatma he is ishwaran he is paramatma he is a lord he is sarveshwaran he is a ruler and he is a adharam and he is it is his sankalpam for our very existence for our very breathing he is never touched by punyam or papam he is akilaheya pratyanikan untouched by imperfections or he is he is a repository of ananta kalyana gunam gunams he is not bound by karma at all shastra or for us to be on the right track for getting rid of our papam for to accrue punyams and to please him please the lord as in accord accordance with shastras because they are his agnya and sage vyasa also says arupa vadevahi tatra tat pradhana twat bhagavan does not belong to human race he is he is he just took this avataram for dharma samsthapanam and for ashrita rakshanam so we cannot hold him down with the rules laid down for us and we cannot even compare equate our actions with his divya cheshtitam the leelas if he, if you compare with that can you lift the govardhana for 7 days can you dance on the top too many heads of poisonous snake kalingan can you hit the wheel with your lotus feet with your feet sakatasuna sage suka explains the example of rudra to explain this in shrimad bhagavatam bhagavan leelas are very many rudra's leelas are few even them we cannot perform forget rudra is the the sri vaishnavan utmost sri vaishnavan and he drank the poison as ordained ordained by parman and he did not perish it was devakaryam and the lord shriman narayana blessed him to undertake that task can we drink the poison and survive when such is the case with rudra what to talk of sarveshwara kannan does not belong to us he is para brahmam vedas declare him is apagata papma 
Swami Embermana Ramanuja also says he is not bounded by karma. Apahata Apahata Karmat Apahata Karmatvam Karma Vashya Karma Vashyata Gandarehi Tatvam Ityartaha. So if some of his acts appear to us as Papam, it, it's, it's not so. He is unbounded and untouched by such acts at all. So, the question does not arise at all for him. Swami Desigan explains so beautifully in Yadava Abhidayam, which we will touch upon some other time. Kavitarkika Simmaya Kalyana Gunashalini Srimate Venkate Shaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Sriman Venkatanatharya Kavitarkika Kesari Vedanta Charavar Yome Sanidattam Sadahirdi So, we have been enjoying Kannan Anubhavam and we have reached the 20th verse, the penultimate verse, the 21st is Palastruti. The last verse of Gopala Vimsati is the 20th verse, 21st is Palastruti. So we have reached the 20th verse and in the last verse Swami Desika was enjoying the Jalakridai. Here also it is Jalam but in the last the 20th verse but it's a it's a different kind of sloka the gopikas they they are very young girls it's less than eight nine years ten years probably they they were taking bath in yamuna in a in a pond uyam vivastraha yatabho krutavrata Vyagahata yeta tadudeva helanam. Srimad Bhagavatam says. And they were, they removed their clothes. And they were taking bath without any clothes. So the Vastrabhananam is what is enjoyed in this verse. And Gopastri Vastrabhananam, Leela, is very beautifully enjoyed by Swami Desika here. And it is against Sastra for each one of us to take bath in the river or in or anywhere without any clothes. And if we do it is it's against it's Nagna. Nagna is not allowed. And hence he corrects them because they had done so and that's because Sastra is his, his Ajna and that's the slokam number 20 Vaso Hritva Dinakara Sudha Sannidau Vallavi Inam Leela Smero Jayati Lalitam Astita Kunda Shakham Savrida Bis Tadanu Vasane Tabir Apyatyamane Kami Kaschit Karakamalayor Anjalim Yachamanaha Vallavinam Vaso Hirtva Vallavinam Gopikas Vasa Vastram Hirtva Apaharikan took, took away and taken it away Dinakara Sutta Sannidav means Surya Putri Yamuna Nadi Sannidav in that in in the in Yamuna Nadi near Yamuna Nadi there is a small uh, meander or the, the pond next to a Yamuna Nadi and that's where they were taking bath. Leela Smeraha Lalitam Kundasakam Astitaha Leela Smeraha means due to a play because he has done he has done something he is having a smile in his face, a sly smile and, and not an innocent smile but they are going to know very soon and they will be shocked and let us wait for, his, for their expression and their shock, their, um, their embarrassment and hence he is smiling. Lalitam Kundashakam Astitaha He is, he has climbed on a kunda tree which is, which is in the banks of the river Yamuna. So he climbed there and he sat down or 
hang or are reclined on a branch of the tree and there he sat down comfortably because after taking all the clothes of gopikas which were left in the bank in the shore and they went into that pond to take bath that pond is an offshoot of yamuna savrilabis tadanu vasane tabi tabi lapyatnamanaha savrilabi so savrilabis tapi and they were they they realized that they don't have any clothes and one gopika saw that no cloth is in the is in the bank and hence he, she immediately told others and all of them were wondering what to do and they suddenly looked up and saw krishna and he was holding all their clothes clothing in their in his hand so they are first shocked they are ashamed they are embarrassed and they feel they feel bad that he is going to complain to their parents that they had removed their dress and went inside without so vasane the antaryam as well as the uttariyam both apyartyamanaha so both are now required they removed both which the 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 bottom as well as the top and apyartyamanaha and they in order to ask him in order to plead him karakamalayo anjalim yachamanaha with their lotus like karam hands palms anjalim yachamanaha they folded their hands yachamanaha he has become like that the one who was begged who was pleaded with anjali kaschit kami jayati that is what now jayati that jayati la the greetings or he shines kaschit kami he shines as the unparalleled kamukha unparalleled lord unparalleled darling of gopis unparalleled player we can say the leela and uh, so the child the prankster is now glowing so majestically and divinely jayati to him pallandu to him swami says here there is a mandahasam he has because he, he knows that they are going to realize soon and they are going to get shocked and they are going to ask for so that is why pallarum kaanave povum pattai panithu arulaye naachiyar thirumali says vastrangal please give me pallarum kaanave povum pattai panithu arulaye please give us back our clothing they all will be seeing us walking back without any clothes please give us and they they stand atragatya swavasamsi pratichata sumadhyama so shrimad bhagavatam says he says you the the one who has narrow waist oh girls come here stand in front of me and ask don't don't be inside the pond and ask come out and they came out with holding one covering their the uh, covering their body with one hand and toliyum nanum toludom they they with one one of their hands and with the with the other friend's hand they perform anjali and with the other hand they are trying to cover themselves so that because they are so ashamed and embarrassed and so he says he he seeks he asks for anjali you have to fold your both hands and ask me then only i will give he is trying to tease them like that he pleaded anjali from them such anyadrishyamana kami anyadrishyamana kami jayati so kami kaschit and the, since they had done against shastras he performed this particular shapanam this particular um 
punishment one can say and that is what is talked about when you when you when we do an act we should never ever think that nobody is seen that is why swami desigan mentions here about this yamuna nadi dinakara sudha sannidav means the surya putri yamuna nadi means the sun itself is the one of the witness and nadi is another witness antaryami is another witness he is he is a, he is a sarva sariri there are 14 sakshis and those sakshi sakshi galakkalam sakshi sarveshwaran and he is there antar bhagischata sarva vyapya narayana sthitah he is there everywhere so even the gopis are his shariram and that is why ape dikshita says for yadavapidayam vimohane vallava gehininam na brahmacharyam pibite dadiyam that we will explain and talk about in our yadavapidayam session and here here he says this needs to be needs to be followed as if he is correcting them gopala swami this krishna he is pleading for anjali and whom is he pleading from his dasas from his devotees from his bhaktas and the moment they performed anjali which he asked for he gives back what they want this avataram krishna took in order to propagate bhakti yogam and gopikas are bhaktas and that bhakti should be pristine pure and this bhakti is not baudhika vishaya kamam it's not physical lust this atma needs to desire for paramatma paramatmani yo raktaha viraktaha aparamatmani bhaktas gopikas see him as the paramatma and then he is nanda gopakumaran and if he is considered as if he is considered as the boy and they as the girl it's not it's not right krishnan krishnan needs to be our pati and they performed katyayani vratam so putana shakata vrittantam they came to know they found out that he is not a normal human being from govardhana puja he established that he is supreme so gopala paratvam they forgot and they acted like this one cannot say and this vaso hritva he stole the clothing he stole the butter first he stole the hearts next of the gopikas now he stole the clothing the master can do anything which he wants dinakara sudha sannidav like what i said suryan suryan's daughter yamuna all these are witnesses and hence he has swami desika mentions this so they are they all know that they have acted against shastras leela smeraha smayavana mukambuja this leela is the is the pun sirip with a with a with a with an innocent smile that they are going to be shocked it's not a mockery it's not a different kind of laughter it's only play playful smile so swami says so beautifully he sought an anjali from them he begged for anjali anjali yachamana what a lustful gopala he is unmatched and unique he is always victorious and this corresponds to the ultimate vedanta shastram the phala adhyayam the gopis have attained the fruit the para brahma realization we must look at the whole episode in a spri in a in a spirit not from the laukika point of view not from the man boy girl point of view because that poisons and corrupts our mind 
when approaching the Krishna Leelas. We are Sesha Bhuta Jeevatmas and the Seshi is the Lord. He is the Sariri and we need to think of that actually. The relation between Paramatma and Jeevatma is always permanent. He is Swami. We are Dasas. He is the Sarira. Sariri. We are the Sarira. And if I touch my hand, my shoulder, my leg, and I I I hug my finger. Is there is there anything wrong? Or I play with my hair, with my nose, with my finger. Is there anything wrong? Is it different? So in a similar fashion, one can understand the whole thing. So th these things are not to be construed as as the the man and a woman type and he he is the paramatma and it's proved to the gopis episode after episode and it is based on jivatma paramatma interaction the supreme fruit thus is reaped by the gopikas when they perform the anjali and he gave back what they desired for kavitar kasimaya kalyana gunasharine श्रीमते वेंकटेशा वेदात गुरव नम श्रीमाकटनाथार्य कविताकेशरी वेदाताचार्यवर्यो मे सन्नीदत्ता सदाहृदे वी हव रीच्ड द पलश्रुति आफ गोपाल विंशति द ट्वेंटी फस्ट वर्ष आफ गोपाल विंशति आफ आचार्य सावभौम स्वामी निगमांत महादेशिक इन दिस् वफुल सीरी on kannan anubhavam we have reached the last stotram and in this stotram swami mentions that one who recites this stotram with no other with the uh, with contemplating only on kannan and not focusing or distracting ourselves on any other vastu subject ananya manasa with that if one has the mind fixated on kannan who is the venugana rasabhijnan and who is yuvati janapriyan the person the reciter will be able to see him in person physically samikshate they can see him clearly and the vision of kannan will be there just in front of the reciters says swami desika and when swami desika sees says he means it ityananya manasa vinirmitam वेंकटेश कविना स्तुति पठन दिव्यवेणुरसिक समीक्षते दैवत किमी यौवत प्रिय अनन्यमनस दस् द वन द वे वी एंजॉयड सो फार अनन्यमनस विद भगवदेक विद मैंड फिस्ड ओनली आन भगवान् कृष्ण एंड nothing nothing else on with that manas venkatesha kavina venkatesha kavi vinirmita composed stutim this gopala vimsati stotram patan the one who reads this manushya reciter reader listener divya venu rasikam the the rasikan who who enjoys the venu gana who knows the venu gana who is that the vailakshanya krishna the only one who knows the venu gana rasam is only krishna nobody else can understand or comprehend the depth of his venu gana rasam yavata priyam not just for one person or two persons or 16000 people the complete entire 
community of womanhood he is the priyan yavata priyam he is the priyan for the yuvati samuham the entire community of womanhood kimapi daivatam the one who is unparalleled matchless peerless optar mikkar ilayaya ma mayan the only daivatam krishna samikshate they will see him in front of the them the reciters and that is what swami mentions here how because even when vedanta desika wrote this stotra he had with ulluna with the internal intense desire to see him with an intense devotion bhakti quest for seeing krishna and he saw him so with the bhavana prakarsham he was able to see the way he enjoyed the way vedanta desika the kavi tarkika simha enjoyed in the same way even if we do not have that devotion at all in our heart in our mind in the same way we will be able to see him in person in front of us swami says what else could we have as the palashruti other than this probably swami the commentator says that during the swami's time his son his shishyas would have written down the stotram as ordered as as instructed by desika and they could also they also visualized krishna when they wrote down what swami says and hence swami says samikshate like desa you will also see readers swami mentions so here the, the thus we conclude the wonderful vedanta desika stotra and we would be able to see and we will be able to enjoy the kannan in front of us at all times in our hearts and he would bless us with the niradeshaya bhogyam and obviously that's the conclusion and here bhagavan kannan he himself is the purest brahmachari because when when kannan had 16000 women as his spouses he was conducting his family with each one of them individually as seen and enjoyed by sage narada he had enjoyed being united with gopastris even earlier in spite of this he was called nitya brahmachari because when parikshit was born from uttara's uterus womb he came out as a still born child as a charcoal due to ashwatthama's astram's power and the only lineage and here hair from pandava vamsam was parikshit so uttara was so grief struck looking at the lifeless charcoal child and one of the elders maybe garga magarishi or someone who said if purest brahmachari naistika brahmachari nitya brahmachari touches the child with his foot it will become normal alive and kicking i said kannan but none dad come near because they were not that much 100% purest brahmacharis and they felt scared that their true nature would be revealed sri ramanuja defines the term brahmacharyam in gita bhashyam that not having even a thought at any time that women are the objects of enjoyment he is brahmacharya and that's the wonderful definition given by ramanuja since none came forward bhagavan kannan himself came forward that if i were the truest purest brahmachari let the child come back alive and become normal he touched the baby's body in full with his divine lotus feet immediately the baby became fully alive fair complexion drop its drop its charcoal color and was full of life alive and crying and this is mentioned by swami desika 
in Yadava Bidayam Vimohane Valla Bagini Valla Bagehini Nam Na Brahmacharyam Bibite Dadiyam Sampatyaste Balaka Jeevanam Tad Satyena Yenaiva Satam Samaksham Kannan is the purest Brahmachari is Satyam it is also true that he had played and enjoyed with cowherd women, 16,000 spouses. How could that both be possible? The answer is, only Bhagavan can make that happen. We should never consider ourselves equate with him and measure him with the tools that we possess. Sage Narada once came into Krishna's palace and saw Krishna welcoming him and asking his wife to bring water for Arjyam, honored the stage. In the next house, he saw Kannan eating with his wife, serving him. Third house, he saw him doing Tiruvaradhana. Fourth house, he was playing Dayam with, uh, with his wife. The wonderstruck Narada came out and at the same time, all Kannans came out to become one, to board the chariot and reach the palace. He realized the Lord's Ishwaratvam and Paratvam and sang in praise of him. The Lord also replied to the sage, saying that, I am the one instructing the Dharma. And so he conducted his Grihasthasrama Dharma with 16,000 spouses. So it is possible only for Bhagavan. The ultimate Grihasthasrama and the love desires extent therein was all well established and to establish that Krishna Leela was played. By the Gopika Charitram, the greatest Upanishad Dharma was established and shown to us. The Lord Trimeni is completely Suddha Sattvam, purest, aprakritam, unaffected by matter that we see, we have, we touch. His natural brahmacharyam can never change. And he gave the Sambhoga Sukham to Gopikas. Sage Sukha says, Av Avarudha Sairetaha. His brahmacharyam thus never changed or it was affected. Kannan only blessed them with his grace and anugraham and granted what they desired for. And it exactly ma matches with Ramanuja's definition that he was full Nitya Brahmachari. The one who resided in the corner of Dwaraka is the lord of entire world. When Jarasandhan came to fight with, in the battlefield, Kannan built a city in the center of an ocean and stayed there with his people. Jarasandhan and others mistakenly thought that he felt scared and he has run away. They laughed at his run away, running away with fear. As a matter of fact, they were completely shivering with fear. It's completely wrong to be little Kannan as the one staying in the corner of a Dwaraka city. He is the lord of the entire universe. He is Devadi Devan. They, and as a matter of gratitude, the Devas gave little of what he had given them when he built this Dwaraka city. Kubera gave away some wealth. Varuna gave him some horses. As a gratitude, Devendra gave the Parijata tree. They grabbed the opportunity to show their gratitude. So, one should enjoy the Krishnavataram thus and contemplate on his glorious deeds and leelas, his saulabhyam, sausilyam, his childhood place, his Rasalila, Jalakrida, with the concept of Paratvam at the back of our minds, then only one can get rid of the Maya, the samsaric affliction. If one learns in half-baked manner about his Divya Cheshtitams and we end up arguing with Kutarkam and say, why can't we do if Krishna himself does? We would never be able to cross the ocean of samsara. Thus, with the Gopika Charitam, the highest Upanishad Sastram, the Sarira Sariri Bhavam, the Vaidika Dharmam, Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya is established. We should place our mind, heart and at the lotus feet of Kannan and Swami Desi can establish us this in Gopala Vimsati as well as in Yadava Abhidayam. Anything found good in this series is only because of the wonderful Gopala Vimsati commentaries written by the Vyakyatas 
and Sri Raghava Bhatta, Bhatta, Patracharya's commentary, Sri Ranganada Patracharya's Manipravala commentary, Anbil Gopala Acharya's commentary, and the wonderful, simple, lucid explanation of Dr. V. N. Vedanta Desikan in the book released by Srimad Andavan Pondrivaram Swami Ashramam. Otherwise, I, I would have not at all been able to decipher or comprehend anything from the slokas. And if at all, yeah, there, there, are very, there were very many errors, mistakes, faults, pronunciation errors, and all because of audience, lack of language proficiency, understanding or anything. Please forgive me for that. Kavitarkika Simmaya Kalyana Gunashalini Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Sarvam Shri Krishna Arpanamastu